Welcome back to Keep Going Podcast with Ben Kennedy. I'm your host, Ben Kennedy. Today, we have a solo episode. We're probably going to be all over the place, but a couple things I want to touch on. One, did, not did, I helped four, three people run 100 milers in the last four weeks. It was absolutely incredible. It was in North Carolina with Dan. First one was Maryland with John. Second one was North Carolina with Dan. Third one was the whole Florida Keys with Greg Dress. It was sick. Um, and just like the, first of all, traveling is just so much fun. Traveling with my friends, doing the thing we love. Um, and I'll just kind of touch briefly on each race. John went sub 24, which is awesome. Her first 100 miler, sub 24 hours. The guy is just built for it. This is what he does. He already signed up for another race. And I got to pace the last 10 miles with him. Um, and it was great. He pushed hard and we got, got the job done. I think we had like 30 minutes to spare. So he did great. Um, didn't really complain much throughout the race. It was really cool to see that. Um, it was just kind of like, you know, business as usual. This is like a business trip and guy got it done. Second was Dan, North Carolina. Um, the elevation of that race is like 24,000 feet. Why does this man love to pick these tough races to run in the woods? Because that's just, that's just who he is. Um, but he crushed it. Went sub 30 hours. It was a tough race. Weather was crazy when he got to like a crazy climb at Mount Mitchell. Absolute downpour. Vibes were not up at that time. Um, and in the last, I don't even know, 12, 15 miles, again, had the pleasure of pacing the last 24 with him, last 12 to 15. Some dude passes us and it just like lights a spark and he just starts flying. I trip, I get up, don't see him. And then I was like, you know what? If I try and race this kid on the downhills, I don't care that he's 90 miles in, he will smoke me and I will roll my ankle. Um, so I'm just gonna try and stay consistent on the downhills, run the flats, run the uphills. And that's what I did. Finally caught this psycho like two miles later. God knows how he, he was running like nine minute miles through the trails, 90 plus miles in after like being defeated for like hours. Um, that was such a cool experience to see though, because that race was supposed to go so many different ways and it just didn't shake out exactly how we had planned. And that's just what's gonna happen. You're running hundred miles, like you're gonna get slapped in the face. Things are just gonna happen. Um, but still crazy, like crazy top 25 finish. And it's just like, it was, it was almost sweeter to see that because it was like watching him persevere through like a tough race rather than like him just destroying everything like he normally does. Um, not that he didn't destroy this cause he did, but in a different way. Um, and I think that was cool. Then next was Greg Drez. Just, there's no words. I think he finished the race in like, I don't even know, sub 23 hours. Um, I think he had fifth overall, fourth or fourth overall, third overall for men or fifth overall, fourth overall for men. Crazy. First ultra. It was the whole Florida Keys. It was like, felt like temperature was like 100 degrees all day long. I checked at like 2.30 a.m. It was like 96 feel like temperature. Absolutely insane. He said he's 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 built for the heat and uh, he lived up to it, even though he didn't enjoy parts of it, which none of us did. We would just sweat standing there. Um, so I can only imagine running 100 miles in it. Luckily, got to pace him for a ton. Um, again, end of the race, he wasn't like, Greg's competitive, but in like a, he's the nicest guy in the world kind of way. So I saw a couple people and I was like, hey, we will see lights up there. I would like to pass them. Um, Greg's like, we don't have to pass them. And we passed them. And he was hitting like sub nine minute miles at like mile 95. And it's just like so cool to see your friends be able to dig deep like that and kind of just like do the thing that we all do um, after like 20 hours of running. Um, so that was a cool one. And luckily, fully healed. Achilles feels great. Um, knock on wood. But yeah, I got to do a ton of miles with Greg. I think I did like 30 plus, maybe 40 miles with Greg. And then me and a friend, Brendan, ran his first 50K this Monday, which was, we were still in Florida. It was hot, absolute downpour, kid crushed it. And it was kind of like back to business. Um, yesterday, smacked 27 miles with my friend, Sean, down the shore, MDW, just an absolute awesome day. Um, and that I'm just, I feel so back and now it's like time to dial back to Ironman prep, but it was so good to finally get like my legs back under me. I hit 80 miles this week. Um, 
it just feels incredible. I'm just very blessed and I just need to be smart. Um, but yeah, and then back to the races. So the overall theme is like, you're never done and you always have more. Like you can always push and you could always run. Like I learned that like me and my friends, we all do like high volume. So we're, your legs are just used to it. Your, your cardio system is okay. Your breathing is usually fine. We're not usually taxed because of all the running we do. Like we're very high fitness when it comes to our breathing and efficiency with running. So for that reason, like you could run on tired legs, like it's very, very doable. And every single one of these guys showed me that you could do it 90 miles in, 80 miles in, 70 miles in, doesn't matter the low you're going through, like everybody was able to push through. Um, we had an ongoing theme that um, basically Mariano Rivera of 100 milers, I close out each one with everybody. Um, and it's just fun and it's cool. And it's like, there's times to be like the motivational, like, oh, let's come on, like, let's go. And then there's times to just shut up and like, you set the pace for the person you're with and they'll just follow accordingly. Um, and again, that's not gonna be like a crazy fast pace, especially at the end of these races. Um, but everybody like just did so well. It was really, really cool to see. Yeah, it was just incredible. And that, that was honestly the ongoing theme. It's just like, you always have more. Um, and the, the other angle that I wanna take with this episode would just be kind of like, where I'm at right now. And it's Memorial Day weekend. Um, I have my apartment down the shore and it's just been like incredible. Like Asbury is home, the boardwalk is just home. And I'm just like really, really grateful um, for like the current life I'm leading. And even just like family, like my nephew's here actually right now. Um, he's not the only person in my family though sometimes it feels like it. Um, just because I obviously love him a lot and he's my favorite. But it's it's really cool. Like it's just life is very sweet right now, and it's it's nothing's changed. And I had a conversation with my mom actually yesterday about that. She's like, "Well, what's like?" I just told her like, "I love you." Like I'm I'm just happy to be here. And she's like, "Yeah, but like why today?" And I'm like, "Well, that's the cool part is that like there's nothing special. Like it's just a normal day." But I'm just like really fucking happy. Like and it's not this like manic, and then I hit lows. Like it's just kind of like a consistent like just having having like this like even keel demeanor and just taking things as they come and not putting heavy expectations on stuff and kind of just like saying yes to opportunity and then just like keeping it simple like family fitness friends that's like that's it food that's it that's it it's all i need family fitness friends and food it's not a hard life um and i'm like i'm crushing it i'm crushing life for what i want out of it and i think that has always been such a difficult thing for me to grasp because I've always kind of like lived the life that I thought I should be living rather than the life I want to be living. And I wouldn't even say I like live the life I want to be living. Like I just, I lead the life that I want to be living. And it's, it's changed everything. Like gratitude and just boiling things down to a simplistic form has really changed a lot for me. Um, I think I always, like I just kind of said, like I always thought I wanted all these materialistic things and just like all this crazy shit. And I realized like, it's just not gonna bring me peace. And like peace has to be cultivated from within. And then from that, I could almost like spread it. And that's also the other the other end of this is just community. Like I live with um, two dudes that I did not even know two years ago and they're my best friends. And I, I say I love you more to my friends than I do sometimes to my mother and that needs to change. But it's just the truth and it's cool. Um, it's just like, there's no other words really. It's, it's just gratitude. And I'm really, really happy for just being here. Um, I say that a lot, but it's just the truth. I think the running ties in and the fitness stuff ties in because you kind of like, you wash away all the bullshit because you're, you're almost so drained and like tired. And then you just get in this like grateful state. Um, at least for myself, this is what happens. And it's just, it's fucking special. And I, I wish I could almost like shake a younger version of myself to like appreciate things more and kind of not take things for granted um, and, and just like live where my feet were. And it's obviously, I have no regrets. Everything brought me to where I am, but it's, it's just special. And I, I, I think, you know, I, I always kind of look at things as like, how can I help my nephew cultivate this earlier? Or how can I help my nephew like grow as an individual or person earlier? Um, and it's, 
yeah, it's just, it's special. And that, I know exactly how we're gonna do it. And that young man is gonna run 100 miles. My nephew, I'm putting it out there. He's gonna run 100 miles. The youngest man ever to run 100 miles. Um, we'll see what my sister says about it. But yeah, it's just, life's sweet right now. Um, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm just, there's just love everywhere. That's really all I got. Um, I'm gonna go enjoy MDW with my family. Thank you for listening, watching, and please comment, like, subscribe, and share.